In the history of mankind, comets have often been seen as harbingers of bad omens. One of the Roman oracles once considered a comet, great fire coming down from heaven to earth. So what is a comet? Is it really as bad as we think it is? Let's learn interesting facts about comet with Ask K-Pop. A comet is a celestial body that flies in space. It is almost an asteroid, but is not composed of rocks but it is mainly made of ice. They are known as long-haired stars because they often have unusual shapes such as pointy heads and large tails like a broom. Scientists have described it as a dirty snowball because it contains carbonic, methane, frozen water mixed with dust and minerals. One theory has rejected the theory that a comet is a star because it is thought to be just a cold gas filled with debris and cosmic dust. We now know that comets are leftovers from the dawn of our solar system around 4.6 billion years ago and consist mostly of ice coated with dark organic material. They may yield important clues about the formation of our solar system. Comets may have brought water and organic compounds, the building blocks of life, to the early Earth and other parts of the solar system. Most comets have very flattened elliptical orbits. It is randomly distributed outside the space. Comets are composed of three parts, the rock ice nucleus, its atmosphere, coma, and the tails. The nucleus is made of dense solid particles. Its atmosphere is the light that radiates around, also called coma. The nucleus combines with its atmosphere to create a comet's head. The comet's tail was not present at the time of the comet's formation, which it got when it passed through the sun because the solar winds blew the comet's molecules and formed a glowing tail at the back. The division of gas flow by the solar wind causes the tails of comets to be different and is basically divided into a one-tail or two-tailed comet. So there are comets' tails that stretch for millions of kilometers. Contrary to conventional wisdom, the comet's tail is not oriented along the direction of motion, just like a jet tube, but in the opposite direction to the sun's center of gravity regardless of which direction the comet is moving. Short period comets originating from the Kuiper belt lie beyond the orbit of Neptune. Long period comets are thought to have originated in the Oort cloud. This is a spherical mass around the boundary of the solar system, consisting of a collection of mostly ice objects about two light years across. To explain why comets move from orbits in the Kuiper belt, or Oort clusters, to very distorted orbits towards the Sun, many mechanisms have been suggested. These mechanisms are mainly based on perturbations of the gravitational field. For long-term comets, this perturbation can be caused by other stars as the Sun orbits the galactic center or from the nearby star Nemesis. For short-term comets, the motions of large planets, especially Jupiter, will gradually break up the Kuiper belt and cause clusters of comets near these planets. Historically, there have been many different conventions for naming comets. Prior to the early 20th century, comets were usually named after the year in which they were discovered, sometimes adding adjectives to their particular brightness such as the Great Comet of 1680 or the Great January Comet of 1910. But later on, comets were gradually named after the person who first discovered them, except for comets that appeared only once, which continued to be named after the year of appearance. Nowadays, many instruments have detected too many comets, making such a naming system unfeasible. For example, as of May 2005, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory have found up to 950 comets and is still working. 
comets are no longer distinguished in the manner described. In 1994, the International Astronomical Union agreed on a new naming system. Comets are named after the year of discovery, followed by a letter indicating the half month of the year's discovery, a year that has 24 semi-months. For example, the fourth comet discovered in the second half of February 2006 is named Comet 2006 D4. It is not known by some coincidence or on purpose that since people know about comets, this astronomical phenomenon has always appeared with disasters, epidemics. That's why many people think a comet is a harbinger of bad luck when they happen to see it. In the history of Eastern countries and some Western countries, comets are said to be an omen of bad luck for the emperor. Accordingly, when the comets appear, the king will be assassinated. That's why the Roman Emperor Nero killed all his successors after seeing a comet. However, William the Conqueror considered this astronomical phenomenon as a lucky omen. He believed that it was Halley's Comet that helped him win luck at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. But do comets always bring bad luck? Since the development of science, comets have been proven to be innocuous with the disasters that have befallen man. However, our Earth is still facing other tangible risks caused by the effects of this astronomical phenomenon. The world is constantly learning about comets. It is still full of mysteries and remains a wonder of nature, attracting scientists to learn and research. Above are interesting facts about comets that Ask K-Pop wants to share with you. Hopefully, after watching this video, you will gain useful knowledge about this unique astronomical phenomenon in this universe. Thank you for watching our video. To support our channel to make more interesting videos, please like and subscribe to Ask K-Pop Entertainment channel. Bye, and see you in the next videos.